السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن كتب الله لا أغلب أنا ورسلي إن الله قوي عزيز بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dream of the Khalifatullah, Hazrat Munir Ahmad Azim, Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Azil Aziz of Mauritius. Before the Hajjit prayers, 16 June 2022, 15 Dulqada, 1443 Hijra. I dreamt that I had a big white lorry which was put away under a tree from which dry leaves fell down. Then I saw two dogs on the lorry's carrier pot and just then I saw that instead of them there were two young horses. When I looked at the road, I saw that it was deserted. Then I said in myself that I had already spoken about this earlier, that a time will come where vehicles, even luxury vehicles, will be put aside and that horses and other animals as modes of transport will increase in value or worth. Then I saw myself in a place where a tall, imposing and great in personality woman in white appeared before me. She was the wife of a great prophet of Allah and was born in Hindustan, India. Her name was Saraswati, but in the dream I addressed her as Hajra, both names, and realized that she was the wife of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. She was talking with the Hindus, and she called me and instructed me to sit down. My brother Salim was with me, and there were some other Mauritians as well who were listening to what she was saying. Then she brought three exquisitely beautiful men's Islamic quotes, very beautiful, way beyond description. It gave me an idea about the rich special clothes which Allah will provide to his servants in the hereafter. Then she said that, Allah had already shown her since very long in her times that someone will come in the last days who will be born in 1961 on 7 J 1961. I do not recall her saying January but only the letter J. She put forward all the dates on which she received these divine messages and dreams and those dates were illuminated by lights, bulb lights as well as candy lights. So beautiful. One of these dates was the 16th of the 8th month, that is 16 bar 8. And then she said that this person is not human but a farista angel. She used the word farista. She took the quotes after pressing them well. A man by the name of Mubarak came and wanted to have the honor of ironing the quotes and then that man transformed into my brother Salim. And after ironing the first coat she said that this was the first coat of honor which Allah has bestowed upon that farishta and came before the very large assembly of people, the people of Hindustan. 
the number of people were like the number during great political meetings in the times of the Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru. And the people wanted who the Farishta was. Then she turned towards me and I was made to sit on a special throne and she addressed me with love and put her hand on my head and caressed my face lovingly and said that I was the Farishta. The people said, Oh, he is the Farishta? And she said that Allah chooses from among his Farishta his own messengers to send to the world. And this resonated into my consciousness as well. Then she addressed the assembly and warned them about what they were doing in this era when Allah has sent a great farishta among them. Then she said that it gives her great pleasure to give these quotes one after the other the quotes of honor to this humble self Munir Ahmad Azim. These quotes were like three distinctions and uniforms the third of which was the greater distinction. Upon receiving the first quote, I was very humbled and anxious as it was indeed a great humbling moment. But the great lady told me not to fear anything, not to be anxious and not to tremble as Allah has honored me by this quote. After receiving all three quotes, I felt myself at a great height and the large assembly was excited and the people wanted to come forward to meet this humble self. The great lady then announced that she had the great pleasure to reveal that I was her grandchild, that is she was my ancestor and caressed my face lovingly again. She then addressed me and said that I must record and write down this dream and date, write down this dream and date it for in the future the people will come to know its true worth. That is the dreams and after saying this she disappeared.